Hi lovelies, I've missed you. I've been a bit MIA and I want to tell a little bit more about that. And also I think we can agree that we are facing the weirdest year ever. And uh, it affects all of us and how do we deal with that. So let me share a few things with you that I have found helpful. One of the things I truly enjoyed was interacting with the community over the summer here on my channel. Sharing my garden adventures and other stories and seeing other people's stories in the comments and how you all cope was something I enjoyed tremendously. And that's why I thought sharing my story could help someone out there because you never know who may need it. This year I have been making way less videos than I used to. Last year I was able to do two to three videos a week and I have no idea how I was able to pull that off. I don't talk about my health much, uh, having had cancer and being tired all the time because it's not helpful to me or to you and I don't want to bore you with that. This is a craft channel after all and I could do the thing I love most, uh, crafting and sharing my crafty adventures with you lovelies. But this year I have been held back by a nerve that's bugging me in my shoulder due to a hernia in my neck. Uh, it made crafting and making videos quite hard at times. And we just had the summer season, which is always very busy over here with all the flowers and veggies we have to take care of, but we also get to enjoy. That I have been sharing in the community as well, but I had to try not to overdo the garden work, which was quite a challenge as I'm not good at sitting still. So I always like the positive approach and I like to focus on the things I can do. And uh, this past summer I have been learning more about YouTube and editing and how I can make my videos better so they are more fun for you to watch. And I can highly recommend learning something new as it is very rewarding and it will make you feel good about yourself. You can find lots of fun techniques right here on my channel and if you want to dive in a little bit deeper you can also check out my Stamping Without Stamps class which is a really cool tool discovery class with lots of fun techniques and the great thing is that you can start right away with the things you already have. I've also tried audiobooks and podcasts and one podcast that I really enjoyed where Diane Reevely was interviewed as she struggles with mental illness and she explains how crafting and listening to audiobooks and podcasts while crafting helps her calm her mind. I tried it and it's like someone is talking to you, like having a friend in your craft space while you are creating something pretty. So that's definitely something else I can recommend and I will leave a link below in the description box. This summer I've also tried audiobooks thinking it wasn't for me but I really enjoyed them and if you like to give it a try I also have a link for you to try audiobooks for free and you can pick any book you like which is yours to keep even if you decide it's not your thing. And of course you can treat yourself to the free cards and tickets that I showed you in a previous video. You can add them to your projects or send them out to anyone who may need some extra support. Sending out some handmade love will make both you and the receiver feel good. Another thing we often forget about is to create something for yourself. Start an art journal, a quote journal, a technique journal. Anything that speaks to you and make it all about you. To collect fun facts or quotes that speak to you, to express ideas and thoughts, just make it something that makes you happy. Something else for you to check out is a great program at uh, scrapbook.com called Cards for Kindness. If you have some cards to donate, I will leave a link to that below. If you're not in the US, you can try to find a charity closer to home to donate your cards to anyone who may need a kind word or message. Now make sure to tell your story in the comments below because you never know who you are able to help or whose life you touch by sharing your tips. And as always, make sure to keep on crafting. Another video done. High five peeps. Yay.